US pickup truck market has always been in Australia, but it's always been a bit of an oddity. Not a lot of them out here, and they're always very expensive to get into. But in the last five years, we've seen factory backed operations come in from General Motors and Ram trucks to give us vehicles that are still imported and converted here, but done to a quality that are supported by the factories back in the USA. Ram Trucks Australia initially landed with only its 2500 heavy duty models, and in later years it brought in the 1500. The 1500 proved really popular with buyers because its base model, the Express, came in at less than $100,000, while most of the other trucks in this segment are all over 100 grand. The newest version, the DT 1500, in this limited specification, comes in around 140 grand. We've got it out here in the bush to see how it goes. The appeal of these American pickup trucks, like the Ram 1500, is its size, and that really comes home once you get into the cabin. There is acres of space in here. The passenger seat is a long way away onto the other side of the car. And in between the two seats, you've got this massive console with so many different storage options. It's very deep, very wide. You can put big things in there, little things like pens, sunglasses, your cards for your fuel, all those sort of things. Massive space, so much storage in this truck. In the limited specification we've got here, it's full on luxury. It matches any luxury SUV really. Heated leather seats, power adjustment, big screen here for all your maps and infotainment system, leather wrapped steering wheel, all the controls here for autonomous cruise control, phone controls, volume controls in the back in typical Chrysler fashion. It's a luxury vehicle with a bed on the back, something that's quite unique in Australia. One thing that does annoy me with the interior of the Ram 1500 is this transmission shifter, which is down here next to your left knee on a dial. It's okay for general driving where you just turn it into drive and off you go, but when you're out here on bush tracks or even in a shopping centre car park where you're doing a three point turn, you've got to go from park to drive, you've got to stop and look down. It's not as intuitive as just using a T-bar or even a column shifter, which Ram trucks used to use. A really neat feature on these Ram pickup trucks, which is optional on some models but standard on the Limited, are the Ram boxes. Now there's one of these on each side of the pickup bed, and they're really just a storage box that's easy to access without having to reach into the tray. Plenty of space in here to store your gear, simple things like a recovery kit you might need quick and easily, right there, easy to get to. Now this box, massive, really deep inside. It's got little lights in here for nighttime use. It's also got drain plugs in the bottom, so you can fill up with ice, put your cold drinks in here, which I reckon is a great idea. With so much space and comfort inside the Ram, it's really a nice place to be behind the wheel. Everything you need is right at your fingertips, all the controls, the driver's seat is adjustable every which way electronically, plus the heating and cooling in there and lots of visibility out across the big broad bonnet. It really is a great place to spend hours on the highway and cruising along the highways this vehicle is super smooth. The suspension just floats along, not real floaty like you expect of an old American car, this is really nicely controlled. It's quite firmly damped as well. Now those things might be great out on the highway, but out on these dirt roads, it really works against it as these 22 inch wheels really thump and bump through the potholes. Um, not suited to this sort of road at all. The Ram 1500 is powered by the 5.7 litre Hemi V8 engine. Quite familiar to any Chrysler or Jeep owner. This engine in this format makes 291 kilowatts and 556 newton metres of torque. In the DT series of RAM, it gets the 48 volt e-torque mild hybrid system. Now this is supposedly putting a little bit of torque back into the engine when needed just via the drive belt. It should also make the engine more economical and assist with the stop start function to make it more seamless. But interestingly, both the 5.7 litre non-hybrid version and the e-torque version have the same power and torque rating and the same fuel economy ratings. So it's negligible whether this system actually makes any difference at all. What this Hemi engine is, is smooth and grunty and it really gets along without mucking around. With this DT upgrade to the Ram, the latest model, you've got big screen in front of the centre here which has all your infotainment and controls for air conditioning and so forth. You've also got a very big screen in between the gauges which are all digitally controlled as well. Lots of menus to scroll through there giving you all the information you could want. As I say in other road tests, 
Tire pressure monitoring system is compulsory. This one's a good one, shows the temperature and the pressure in each individual tire. Big thing about having a Ram over the more popular one ton utes is its towing capacity. You can tow up to 4,500 kilogram trailer on this, where most of your average four wheel drive utes are 3,500. That's a big plus for a big vehicle like this. The Ram 1500 has got all the latest safety features on it, including autonomous emergency braking, which is great for when you're out on the road and you know, got pedestrians around and accidents possible happening in front of you. Where we found it really annoying is trying to do a three-point turn or even just reversing on these tracks. Just the smallest leaf or branch out behind you or a small bank sets off that emergency braking. You can turn it off down here on the dashboard, but until we found that, it was very annoying. In the top spec, the limited model does away with its coil spring suspension and gets height adjustable air springs. That's on all four corners and raises the vehicle when you're off-road and lowers it down when you're at highway speeds for better efficiency. But there's no way around it, this is a big truck, it's not a vehicle you buy for efficiency. During our time with the Limited, we recorded 16.2 litres per 100 kilometres in a week of on and off-road driving. Many people balk at the $140,000 asking price of the Ram 1500 Limited, but really you're getting a lot of vehicle for the money. This is truly a luxury car with the convenience of a ute tray on the back. So the Ram 1500 is a supreme vehicle out on the highway, it's a great touring vehicle. It's got plenty of power, lots of refinement. It's got that four and a half ton towing capacity, which if that's what you're after, that's unmatched. You can't get it anywhere else. It's a great vehicle for all those things. In this package with the Limited, with the 22 inch wheels, it's probably not the best off-road vehicle, but you can get around that if that's the sort of driving you want to do. For 140 grand, it's a lot of car for the money. There's so many features in this thing and so much capability. If that's the sort of truck you're after, it's certainly something you want to put on the radar.